HMRC is a priority debt and not a debt that will just go under the radar. If it goes too far, it could involve the bailiffs. I'll run through all the finer details. If you've tried to Google how long can HMRC chase a debt, you might be confused by all the different answers you're getting. And that's because it varies with different HMRC debts as to how long the statute barred period is. Statute barred basically means when time has run out to chase a debt through the court. Even when a debt is statute barred, it doesn't go away and it will stay on your credit file. You just can't be taken to court for it anymore. The time period is usually six years. If HMRC decide to launch an investigation into your finances, it can sift all the way back as far as 20 years. This comes under the tax bracket, so they've got a long time to chase you up. It can't go unpaid because HMRC has the power to recover funds straight from your bank account. They would give you notice if they intend to though. HMRC can also take legal action against you, send bailiffs round and can start bankruptcy proceedings against you. Let's move on to HMRC that isn't taxed and this applies to England and Wales. I'm about to run through a list that falls under the six year statute bar category. Contract settlements, tax credit overpayments, child benefit, overpayments, national insurance contributions, statutory payment recoveries like stat sick pay, stat maternity pay, stat paternity pay, stat adoption pay, overpaid child trust fund contributions, student loan repayments and national minimum wage act penalties. The statute barred rules state that you must not have had any conversation or correspondence within the six year period and have made no payments. If this is a case and it's been over six years, then legal proceedings can't be taken for that list that I just read out. It will affect your credit rating though if you haven't paid those debts. Scotland's different. The the Prescription and Limitation Act has similar rules to statute barred. It means that there's 20 years to chase you for tax and national insurance contributions. Other debts, similar to the list I just read out, are five years rather than six. You've probably got the gist of it now, but you can't hide from HMRC. They have the most power when it comes to retrieving debts. They have the authority to take money directly from your account. They can sell your belongings to clear your debt and then charge you for the extra cost for having to go to those lengths. The best thing to do when HMRC contacts you and you know you owe them money is to work out how to pay it. Communicate with them at the earliest opportunity and don't let it escalate. Be open and honest about your financial situation and if you don't have a lot of money, see if you can come to an arrangement where you can form a repayment plan. They will have a lot more sympathy if you don't ignore them. If it isn't just HMRC debts mounting up and you feel a bit out of your debt financially, you could look into debt solutions. It's wise to get a good handle on them because there are pros and cons to all of them. You'll have to qualify for some of the options. Now some of them stop creditors chasing you while others write off some of your debt and lower your monthly repayments. Below this video, I've linked to a form on my new website and it's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need about debt solutions that are available. So click the link below, go and check it out and let me know how you get on.